Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Wow, we got a lot of quests. We can go back to the ship, we can just try to screw over Ellie's parents uh, by her request. Uh, but we have to go to Monarch for that. And also we can get some pretty clothes. So, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll pick something up? Uh... This is a little vague, so it could be hard, but I don't think it's too hard to. Uh, we need Spacer, Iconoclast, and Marauder. And Headpiece. Wearing a suit of armor and Headpiece from the following sets. So yeah, we gotta pick up uh, two, like, well, a helmet and, a, and an armor from these sets in order to complete this uh, uh, quest. Um, which might not uh, give you too much, but we'll see. Actually, it's possible that despite her big talk about like, oh, you gotta go to the Groundbreaker. That's where you're gonna get the good stuff. And like, okay, but maybe, maybe we can buy it here <laughs> because that's kind of how it works. Oh, crap. Okay, so maybe not. I mean, we can we can see. Yeah, I mean, we gotta buy it from the, the I faction, I suppose. That Maverick Johnston is the finest director in I wouldn't be uh, a bigger asshole. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are we at the right place? Oh, we are at the right place? Kind of. HPS. So this guy is hoarding the. Dimatil, self oxide. Uh, everywhere, basically. And uh, we need it to revive the colonists. According to our mad scientist friend, uh, Phineas. Maybe we're just gonna pop in and say, like, hey, what's up? That could work. I'm very charming. But it's not, like, unrealistic level. Not like... This is not the droids you're looking for level, but but realistic, so it's well done. Oh shit. You guys don't mind me cutting in, right? Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. Okay. I think uh today's what did you say? Your uh, that's a different line. Today's trend is tomorrow's trash. I think today's trend is today's trash. Or I don't know what this is. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. It just it just looks a little odd. Like this brown shoulder plates. I mean, this this kind of looks cute in a way. Ish, but it's just so damn gray, right? It just kind of looks like something a uh, 18th century waiter would wear that kills himself. But also has a fancy hat. Uh, Alright. What's about you? Customer? That's what I'm talking about. Like very old school, but like the old brown and like the, the black coat. I don't know. Are you like, you have like a bit of tug life going on with those gloves? Um, all right, let's see what we got. I'm here to rob the bank. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Jump over. This is this is a legit maneuver in the bank. Uh, if you just want to skip lines, I recommend all of you to try this. It works. It works. Yeah. You know? And you can just walk up to the clerk and say like, yeah, I want some money. And, and they just give it to you. Easy. A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. What exactly do you have? Do you do here? Uh, do you have a parcel waiting for Clark, Mr. Clark? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how it works. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma minister. Yeah, that's the one. I'm here to pick up the minister's parcel. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. 
Cool, cool, cool. Um, how'd I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. The fuck is this shit? Sounds like you're just dicking me around here. Uh, okay, how long does that usually take? I don't have time for this. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. What's your name? The minister's here in Byzantium. I'll make the delivery and you're free to take credit. Ooh. I think both could work. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Thanks for that. Intimidation or persuasion, both works, and and I'm I'm not sure if they affect uh, the the teammate, well, the companions that much. M maybe if it's more extreme. I know that one time Pravati was against intimidation, and I'm not a huge fan of intimidation generally. It's kind of the bad boy move. I tell you, look at me, I'm angry. I'm intimidating you into bending to my will. Lame. Okay, so I guess we are not capable of buying um, the fancy clothes we need. Oh, actually, is it possible? I don't know. This this might be possible, but no. Oh <gasps> yes. Acrophobia? What? You no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you? Oh! I, I guess this is about heights. I don't really care. I think these uh, need more interesting penalties. Yeah, I just I just get shot. I I don't want to get into this actually. I want to use my my parcel <laughs> and try to. I think that's gonna be more fun than. Fuck. <laughs> what I was trying to go for is what you can do in many games is that you can control your movement while jumping. It's dumb as hell, but it works. <laughs> And I tried it, and it didn't work. And that's good. Oh, that's one right there. All right, uh, parcel delivery here. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Do you have any actual business here, or? Uh, delivery for the minister. Yeah, let's see it. I got the parcel right here. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. Thanks. Hmm. Wow, that was easy. And no one's gonna question me inside. I just got in with one lie. <clears throat> and this is cool because if I could if I could have just went through that one guard, then all these guards are just not even questioning me. No. That's the back entrance. I'm not sure if they would attack me. If uh if I came in the back entrance. Possibly. Maybe he just radioed in that there's some like dumb delivery guy doing his dumb shit. Real 
split. Seems like we have to go up. But this place is not huge. Okay, gone quiet. I was thinking what could be... I am assuming that we are at least in the... Uh, well... The end of this game is coming to a close. Eventually. Not, not now. We still have a lot of planets to explore. But it seems like we are at, at least, very least, at, in the... In the... Um, nearing the end. And uh, I think what could be cool for a second playthrough... If I do one, but I kind of want to do one. Is, uh... It feels like I'm just finding too much stuff, but I, I should just probably focus on... On uh, having fun here. I'll just have to see what kind of mods are available. I might just have to wait between uh, playthroughs. Probably I will probably wait a little bit because steel book. Because some cool mods might come out. Yeah, this is just trash. We got the guy here, and there's not much else to do here. They're not questioning it. Deliver guy hiding behind the curtain. No one's questioning me. Oi! It's me! I'm killing this guy! What do you mean, how did I get in here? That's how it works. You walk up to the front uh, guard, tell him that you got a package. And they're gonna be like, oh yeah, sure, oh, you deliver it yourself. Not like, uh, I'm taking that and checking it for bumps and everything else. And fuck off. No. I'm here. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh my law. Captain. Captain. That's the minister. Mr. Clark. Oh, oh yeah, wow. plus companions. So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Well, this is just a casual Freeman delivery service. <laughs> Cut the crap. I'm here for the metal sulfoxide. Cut the crap. Yeah, I'm here for that. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. What? I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. <laughs> Will that be all then? Right. Man. So, what you're... Uh, signaling to me is that you're being tapped. You, you're like you're being listened to. Your room is tapped, but you're talking in such an odd way that it's super obvious that you're doing this. You might have as well just uh, just flat out say <laughs> that, "Hey, I know about those drugs, but I'm not helping you because I'm I'm being listened to. I have records proving you've been hoarding the metal sulfoxide." Why do you keep talking like that? <laughs> Stars, they're getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? Perfect. I love it. Can you speak even slower? My dumb brain uh, can only process it. Uh, 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 slow, good. Slower and louder into my good ear. In, into my ass would be per preferable. I, I, it's, it's just a uh, kink I have. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't really just go into it. You know, but if you did that, uh, that would be cool. What's, was that a joke? Sarcasm, even? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke with someone intelligent enough for irony. Wow. 
Holy shit. Where's this crack? I'm just holding back all the fucking time. Because people don't get it. Think I'm a dick. <laughs> Great. So how about you tell me about those chemicals? This again? I really don't know about any chemicals. Bullshit. Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Back up and tell me what you're talking about. You mean Chairman Rockwell lock, lock you up here? You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. How the fuck it proves You've been it? all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? What? Please. This is important. Not now. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. What's with the finger pointing? Seemingly everyone else, everyone who's guilty here, kind of points to someone else. They'll have to deal with him. You expect me to believe this? How about some proof? Why would he go through all this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. Years? But there is a way to find out. And perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. The fuck? I think you're watching way too many TV shows uh, cooped up in here. Uh, also, you have no idea who who we are or why we want the drugs or chemicals so this, you're just like totally cool with that technically we are kind of like terrorists or at least criminals not really terrorists well I suppose you just call terrorists whoever the fuck you want but definitely not terrorists uh, clearly but at least we would be called criminals but this uh Culture might even call us terrorists because what we're trying to actually what the fuck can they call us terrorists? I don't think it really fucking matters. They can probably spin it whatever they want, but we just basically want to uh, uh, Just uh, unfreeze the colonists and The second part, you know overthrow the government. Yeah, that might not they might not like that but uh, I'm actually not super into the second part necessarily, it seems like Terra Vaughn is a perfect alternative. Because, you know, do you really want a war? Or just like, I don't think those people would give a fuck. You know, they just... They basically went to sleep on Earth, or most likely Earth, and came here to start a colony. They're not here to start a fucking war with the corporations. They just want to live their life. And if Terra Vaughn can transform that even the wildlife is not a problem, then it's gonna be just clearly a paradise. And it's it's really good. And from what I've seen, Terravon seems to be, except for the harsher wildlife, uh, better suited for human existence, which kind of backs up my... which kind of uh, makes sense, because it was Terra 1. You know, if Terra 2 was better than Terra 1, most most likely they know about do knew about both uh, both planets before the cons came here because like that that information like that's a lot easier to get and before they came to the mission on the mission so Terra One was the first choice and it seems like the best choice although Terra Two is perfectly fine and uh, yeah just tell me how to get there. You seem a little excited by all this. We're discussing industrial espionage. 
legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. <laughs> Let's focus. How do I get to the HC, HC headquarters? Via the Acropolis district, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Yeah, what obvious reasons? Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. What? That's there it? There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. Sounds like a piece of cake. It doesn't. Suit yourself. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. What used to be your office? How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. But wouldn't they disable it? Do I want to know? Okay. I guess we're gonna wash it first. You. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. <laughs> there are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks for your help. We're still watching it. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What the fuck are they gonna do? You can count on me, Mr. Minister Clark. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. Cool. <sighs> I'm actually getting a little tired, hungry, and thirsty. Wow. Okay. Uh. Uh, what's food? I still have no idea what's food. Oh, I, actually that could be a mod or actually that should be part of the game That you know what th the fuck is food? <laughs> I still what the fuck is food? Is that food? No, that's not is that Yeah, that's food. Okay, cool Alright. <laughs> that looked like food, but it didn't give the the Carbon hydrate, uh, carbon hydrate, uh, two hundred percent health regen bonus that you usually see on food items. Okay. Investigate the chairman's office. What is kind of messing with me is that we have two buildings here that don't seem to have any missions but they have loading screens and I didn't enter them yet so this is yeah halcyon parcel service yeah so I did enter that one but I didn't enter one other one, I think this. Bureau of Exploration. Ah, sure, let's do it. It's tiny. Rizos. Okay, nothing here. Ah, that's trash. Oh! Can I 
Not get busted lockpicking this. I'll keep it. Nice going. I'm going. Okay, we can break that down. Break that down too. Just take the rest. Heading back. Oh, we got a lift. Hey. Are you lost? Sorry. Okay. Alonzo. Well, you're obviously not from around here. I don't believe I've ever seen visitors in the bureau before, come to think of it. Why not? You don't know that. Maybe I work here. You don't look nearly bored enough to work here. <laughs> Believe me, I know everyone here by face. Alonzo Vallejos. Extraordinarily pleased to make your acquaintance and so on and so forth. I'm currently operating a sightseeing tour of sorts. You are. Think of it as a guided journey across Halcyon. Would you be interested in a trial run? Yeah. How does this work? Glad you asked. Our tour guides you across some of the most picturesque <clears throat> and breathtaking sights around Halcyon. We've placed some beacons across a series of locations around Halcyon. All you have to do is follow the beacons to adventure. What? That slogan's a work in progress. So, what do you think? Are you interested? What? All right, I'll help you. Outstanding! Here, you'll need this special triangulating device. Think of it as a wireless compass, pointing the way to the next beacon. When you find a beacon, this device records your discovery and directs you to the next stop on your tour. Find every beacon, finish your tour, and come back here to claim your commemorative hat. Simple! Right. First, find the first beacon. So it's gonna be... All the planets that I already explored. Somber in Byzantium? Can I just uh, use their lift? Doesn't have any purpose. Hey girls, what's up? Speed creep. Right. Oh, okay. Gosh, that's <laughs> Is it possible to skip the entire journey and just <laughs> just update it here? That would be awesome. Come on, let me do it. Sran Sandra, I just got back from Billingsby. I had not one, not two, but three near Maple liquors. Almost done with this project I've been working on for the past six months. Dedicated to celebrate. That, that sounds a little odd, just, that's just uh, that's a short sentence. Hey, don't worry, I'll, I'll save some celebrating for the two of us. I'm thinking maybe Celeste... Uh, Harbor the Sherry. Stop over at the uh, Love Groves. Couple hours at the uh, Chanceries. End of night with a bank at Bijou's. What do you think? Seems overly complicated. Rachel, I, I don't like hearing rumors about my daughter having a drink with her own receptionist. We've talked about this. Victor's family has fallen out of favor. If he was worthy of your attention, he would have made the senior position by now. Don't drag the Lockwood name down with him. Okay, return to route. That's it. I would have loved to just uh, trick the guy. But 
but I guess this uh, computer uh, couldn't fight this whatever compass I got. Ah, I'm heading out! Maybe, maybe I should have uh, came to come to Byzantium uh, earlier. It's it's hard to say, or maybe we could have just done like uh, like uh, I don't know, just don't you think we I don't know, I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like it has like a very specific order. It does seem like uh, that's not what I want. Find the first beacon. What a fucking vending machine! Out with it. I've discovered a vending machine. Wow. It might be still uh, what? Wait, what? Welcome, intrepid adventurer, to Prosperity Plaza, where the shops never close. Now, make your way to the bustling region of Emerald Vale. Prepare to be dazzled by the Vale's breathtaking lava flows, rated the third most impressive in Halcyon. Interesting line next to a closed shop. Okay, we. That just uh, leads me away now. These, these two missions are a little annoying. I'm not sure if you're gonna do that. But let's just investigate the chairman's office. They don't even lead to like one place, but uh, require you to go to multiple places. And. Uh, Okay, so can we just like uh, talk our way in? The Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. Well, mind if I take a breather? I'm pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Bribe, 2,000 bits. These 2,000 bits have been waiting down me all day. Here have you hold them. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis district. Goodbye. <laughs> I never could have handled the desk job. Okay. So a lift. HHC building. And last we got something that requires a key. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without signing a waiver. <laughs> Not without signing a waiver. Roof force. Okay. Oh uh, maybe this actually leads to the sewers that I kinda ignored. Does this? Oh, maintenance tunnels. Maybe we're just gonna use that to get out. <laughs> because I'm just like that. I just I just like to be thorough. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna pay my way in, but we're still gonna get out through the sewers if I don't forget about it. You ever get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? Uh, hello there, some goat chick. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anticleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Okay. The guy who led me in, <laughs> uh, kind of probably suspected there's not going to be too much I'll be able to explore. So, it's a pretty good deal for him. So, can I get in here? 
State your business. Uh, I'm here for the meeting. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. That sounds like me. Oh, yeah, show him Minister H HHC access card. Is this sufficient enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. You better be joking. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, ma'am. <laughs> now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? How about you? Save us both some trouble and let me through. I was going to suggest that myself. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Fine, but I suggested it first. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. All right. But he would allow me to carry weapons anyway. He would just like to know about it. What's wrong with like taking away my weapons? Why do you need some force for it? <laughs> you can just try that. Oh. Oh. You're just being dumb. What if I just bust in here with like a gun, shoot you in the face, shoot shoot the minister in the face, shoot those guys in the face, and all of you have sights. And I'm looking in your face. And I'm laughing. What the fuck are you going to be do with sights? Nothing. I can bust in there. Five. But if I do some drugs, mind drugs, that's not good enough. But if I do some more drugs, that's how it works. Then I'm good. Keep him quiet, Cap. I'm doing that. Just uh, block the view a little bit. Dance, Cap. Stay outside. And maybe switch to my conversation uh, gear here. <sighs> Some vodka. Mm. I don't really care about booze. You can't really stack it. Uh, well, you can only use one. At a time. Which I suppose is is sensible. So you can just like max everything. Heading back. Okay, we can get in there. Oh, what is this? Some kind of panic room? Oh, or a lift? Sealed. So, <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. You should get back to your desk. I saw somebody eyeing your stationery. What? Oh dear, thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. 
What? Ah, oh, that's a dog. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. As you should. What do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Any chance I could meet uh, Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Uh, oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? I guess I'll leave. Alright. What's with the hole in the wall, though? Come on, get in, guys. All right. I didn't want to use the Coming pointy back. thing. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm just taking my office. Uh, One person gets all this space just to, to sign papers all day. Yep. Oh, look at that. Is that snow? Unclear. Probably not. Just white roof. Okay. Let's check his terminal. Oh man, shipment status report. Fuck me. Oops. I don't. I can't do a uh, 100 hack. Not with uh, these companions. Fuck me. It would be better if I had a companion that gave me hacks. So if he had uh, a Max here, then yeah, we could do it. Now we can do it. I can't. I can't boost it up that high. That just. That's just not happening. I can boost it to 75, maybe to 85. I think 85 is what we can do, maximum. But we can't do. Can't do 100. The rough cut of the presentation is prepped to play. The PR department has a lot of work to do, but we've covered the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board scientists are working on a solution. Workers can look forward to lifetime employment program for the chance to contribute. You'll see the current version when you print your keycard for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. And yes, before you ask, the Dimetal Sulfoxide has been delivered there. It's waiting for your sign off on the board uh, on the broad strokes. So I want to make sure you saw it. Oh, what? Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, We've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors.
take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. So it seems like the last time Halcyon leads. But I'm all for living fast and dying young. But it seems like the last thing Halcyon needs is more people. Of course, he's a slimy guy. And we don't like him. Okay, I, do I want to up the science or just do I up, up the hacking? I, I can't up the hacking enough to make me have enough hacking. Even with five hacking, can I? Stealth skills, hacking. 75 hacking, I can put it to 85 hacking, then then use drugs to push it to hacking, hacking, 95 hacking, that's the best I could do, I'm pretty sure, and there's no way to get bonuses from the companions, not with the companions I got. If I'm gonna go with these characters, I might just... I think this, this is sensible. So I can boost it by 20. 20 plus 10. Uh, assuming drugs. I don't think there's any other way to do it. I'm truly doing my best here. And this is not good enough, of course. Send Minister Clark message to Earth. Personal flies. Let's do that. Please allow between three and six months for your message to complete transit. Personal files. What's taking so long? How long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Toss Clark's belongings into the streets of Byzantium for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at that hole in the wall. And for law's sake, do something about that doom and gloom presentation. If we have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make this announcement sound like a damn funeral allergy, we need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. That's the problem, you know? Marketing. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to say doesn't quite work when people are smart enough. And it's gonna work on the masses, but it's not gonna. When it's just gonna. We're just gonna look at what it stands for. It stands for death. There's not enough food, and they're gonna put a lot of people into hibernation with no promises. Not, not true promises of bringing them back. So, yes. And it seems like the hope might be the most deserving when it comes to uh, people who are trying to make a living. Because uh, if Phineas is right, then the colonists can't uh, stay in hibernation for very long. Of course, hibernation it works for a very, very, very long time. But they can stay in it indefinitely, and even, of course, me, I, I needed some way to uh, special. I, I need to get specially revived, and only me. So, and most likely, uh, as time passes, it's those colonists are gonna be just lost, and that's kind of unfair. And I assume the the board just doesn't care. Personal files. Masseuse. To schedule my regular Wednesday massage, I have urgent matters to attend to off-site. I made inquiries and can confirm that we have plenty of food, real food, stored away from our inter-colony trade. The nutritional profile of food produced within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start 
feeling hungry no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but what we have will soon sustain a Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future. Chairman, the heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about their shares again. As head of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know they are at it again. Okay, so it seems like aliens are not it, but uh, Halcyon indeed is dealing with a big issue. And it just feels so much more satisfying to figure this out later. Because in some games, you just like... The, some, some games just really rush to get you involved super early. And I, I guess like, yeah, yeah definitely uh, Out of Wars got you involved. But not, not like just gives you, throws you the biggest bone right from the start. And like just no mystery left. And I, no, no, no. This game is cool as hell. I'm I'm not a writer, like of course, like so. I, I'm I'm mostly just a critic. <laughs> I I guess we all of us are. Like I'm not really a professional critic by any means. So let's just head back. And what do we do with this information? Yeah, but is that okay? I, I can get the Demetos uh, Sulfox side, and that could be that's power. Having having that uh, that's power, and I guess we need that. Thanks. Keep it the good work, lads. Do we know where it is? Oh, I, okay. That's the lock building. But it stands to reason that we're gonna need at least the ship to carry it out. We're just gonna need, and even that's not gonna be enough. I I don't really ex uh, expect like a like a canister that we can just steal. Glass for every class. So, yeah, I'm not sure how could they do this. In a way, they are trying to do like yeah, they are just uh, staying true to themselves. They uh, probably just gonna allow a lot of bureaucrats to stay in power. Of course, they're gonna have a bunch of workers who actually do the job. While the bureaucrats are just doing nothing and uh, maybe jerking off to uh, workers uh, are working for them. And, uh, yep. Gold man. This, this is not a very flattering statue. Not even. Yeah, I mean, not a very flattering statue. Is that Rockfall? Okay, let's snoop around this place. Beige based on merit. Theodore Isaac uh, keeps eating my purple berry lunches. <clears throat> I know that Sprat to Little Snot is the one doing it. I've seen him with uh, cracker crumbs on his lips and purple berry stains on his lab coat. Working next to him and seeing him pick the remains of my lunch out of his disgusting teeth just makes me want to scream. There, I did it. I screamed a little. That felt good. I'm just going to sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again. 
I'll catch him in the act and I'll come back and write up another entry. I'm going to be so livid. If you wanna, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this issue. For sure, uh, if talking doesn't work. I guess you can, if you just wanna be petty, and they're a bit of a trickster, I guess you can bring uh, uh, lunch for the guy. Like, with like uh, laxatives and shit like that. It's still like a crappy thing to do. Not, not that what you do, but like what, what he, he does and like, I don't know, fucking know. He or she, we don't really know. Gender. Oftentimes when, you know, crappy things are discussed. And oftentimes, like, usually he is used. But I think it's more often when, like, uh, bad acts are described than he is used. What's up with that? <sighs> Bard. Can't get in. We gotta climb up. And we bribed one guard, and now we got full access, basically. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X36 level clearance. It's okay, I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Like I said, X36 clearance only beyond this point. How's this for clearance? I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Never mind. What? I need to boost my lie. If that works. Like I said, extra. I already showed you my pass. And you're still not clear. I need to go intimidate 70 or lie. Oh, 100. So I would need to. Not body, personality, and mind. Mind. So this should put me up to 100 lie and only 67 intimidate. Like I said. And you're I'm still just not getting drunk. Uh, you must not be up to date on the Z532 clearances. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. Sure there is. You just don't have the clearance to know about it. What? There's no way. I'm cleared to know about all clearances. I mean, I've gotta be, right? Apparently not. Not mine. Come to think of it, I may have to write you up for just hearing about it. Whoa! There's no need for that. Go on through. And let's pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> okay. It's, this is more satisfying than just killing everybody. Which could be. Um, well, that was quick. I suppose. Sure. Uh, give us a lot of stuff, but... Plasma rifle too. Well, who cares about that? I guess we're gonna bust them. You gotta teach me that. Let's break it down. What? I hope I don't have to convince even more people to let me through. Can I just go up? I'll just stay down, explore this place. Wow. So, at this point of the game, you really need 
some high uh, skill checks. Like 100, 70, again 70. If you plan to use your skills, they need to be uh, pretty high. That's stealing. Oh, the lift. I guess we don't take the lift. Not yet. We're just gonna check upstairs before we head to probably a new area. On my way. This is it. Office clerks. Can't get in there. Landing machine discovered. Big day. Eh, that's a decent armor. Helmet, but I think I'm pretty sure we have much better ones. Yeah. What would be cool if you can see at a glance? If they have better gear, but what would be, I think, again, cool is that instead of just random gear, they just have a fixed gear. Like, instead of uh, just, I don't know, but again, that doesn't work with dynamic difficulty. Uh, my, my point is that just revisiting these vending machines, like, I just go to, like, 20 vending machines just to, like, hopefully get something better. Because so, many times you're just getting, yeah, I, I think I figured out what's wrong is oftentimes the vending machines offer you stuff that are just clearly crap. Like you would never buy that. And they're just total fillers. Okay. Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. This place is huge. Big spy mission. With like color codes on the ground. So... This is a good time to take a break, guys, and see you next time.